Well, after six days of competition in Sochi, Korea was able to win their second Olympic medal. But it didn't come easy, as South Korean short track star Park Seung-hee earned a bronze medal in the women's 500-meter short track event. And despite having the lead in the beginning of the final two, skaters behind her falls and takes her down as well as she struggles to recover from the fall. But after the judges ruled that Lise Christie of Great Britain tripped her, Park was given an advance and earned a bronze medal. While it's far from a gold medal, Park Seung-hee claims Korea's first medal in the 500-meter short track event in 16 years. However, she has pulled out of the 1,500-meter event after sustaining an injury in her bronze medal finish. And moving over to figure skating, where the defending champion Kim Yeon-ha, after arriving in Sochi, had her open practice session along with the other Korean figure skaters, Kim Hae-jin and Park so yeon While her rivals in the sport, Mao Sada and Yulia Lipnishkaya, are practicing in nearby countries to keep their practices as closed as possible, the figure queen Kim Yeon-ha held her open practice session at the Olympic Park. And after holding her practice session, Kim Yeon-ha stated that she did not like the ice and will have to get used to the ice conditions. Meanwhile, while the Vancouver gold medalist will be looking to defend their title next week. And shifting over to the women's 1,000 meter speed skating event, where after claiming her second straight Olympic gold in the 500 meter event, Yi Sang Hwa enjoyed the 1,000 meter event and finished her Olympic competitions. With no pressure on her to win another medal in this event, Yi Sang Hwa stated that she enjoyed competing in the 1,000 meter event as she finished with a final time of 1 minute 15.94 seconds, good for 12th overall. Now, the 12th place finish is still a huge improvement from her Vancouver record when she finished in 23rd. Third overall. And now over to curling, where the Korean women's curling team continues to wow everyone as they keep their semifinal hopes alive after beating Russia. In a must win situation after losing to Switzerland and Sweden, the Korean women's curling team kept their composure throughout their match against Russia as they easily beat the eighth ranked Russian side. And with their record now at 2 and 2, they will need to win their next four matches in order to keep their hopes alive as they're set to face off against the fifth ranked China later today. And now finishing things off, let's take a look at the medal count after six days of competition in Sochi. Of course, taking a look here, what do you know? Germany with the most gold medals so far with seven, including two silvers and a bronze. Canada, Norway, the Netherlands and the U.S. all with four gold medals each to complete the top five. With Korea down in 13th place with one gold and one bronze so far. And that's going to wrap it up for me. This has been SJ. Have a great weekend, everyone, and see you guys again for your sports needs.